Hey guys, this is uh, Richard from TitanClassics.com and today I'm going to be discussing this, which is a kickstart for an NSR250. And in this case it's off uh, the MC28, which is the later version. But I'll have to check the part numbers because I believe this will fit the, the previous version, which is the MC21. Now, in order to have this manufactured in titanium, I, I have thought of getting it done in aluminium. This, I honestly don't think it's going to be strong enough in aluminium. Uh, you see, uh, you know, aluminium ones on motocrossers like the CR500, CR250 and so on, but they're great big chunky things and, you know, this just looks good. I know it's this part, this OEM part is um, a bit old and skanky, you know, there's signs of discolouring. I wouldn't say corrosion, but discolouring. And um, so to make this in titanium, um, it's going to pretty much have to be cast. Um, I've looked into 3D printing titanium and that's a nightmare. Um, I'll, I'll bring that up in another in another video. It would probably cost several thousand pounds to, to have this 3D printed in titanium. So this I think can be cast and uh, by chance, by luck rather, there's a, a casting a, a cast in place just down the road within about three miles of me and uh, they've got a factory I think in Malaysia where they can do castings of titanium, grade 5 titanium. So my immediate problem right now is how do I model this very organic part? And it's a bit of a, bit of a nightmare. Uh, I've had several goes at it so far in, in CAD. I use SolidWorks. And I think what I've done is I've modelled that, that shape around there first. So it came up like that. I put the hole through and then I made the shape for that and I cut that out. And then this is about 35 degrees and I've measured and I can't remember the measurement there and then but you've got another angle there see so that that is all in a straight line if you can see but that goes off at maybe around about five degrees and that is not quite perpendicular with that and so so you can see the problem with that I may have that that's my problem is um, in modeling it in CAD and it's got to be right so when I model it, um, I'll send it to, I'll take it, well, I'll take the model to the casting factory down there. I might be able to get a version made in steel, I, I don't know. Uh, the first one made in steel, test it on the bike, if it's right, um, have it made in titanium. Uh, I'm thinking about the cost here, you know, because the titanium casting is going to be expensive. I'll also use their expertise with uh, regards to shrinkage because I think, I'm not sure, there's a bit of shrinking um, when they do the casting. Um, I might do a video, if, I, if I'm down there I'll go and have a chat and maybe they'll let me film inside the, inside the place. That'd be really good. I've been in there before and it was awesome. It was um, the spraying on slurry on wax castings and all sorts. Um, how many would I get made? I have no idea. Ten? Yeah, ten to start off with maybe. See if they sell. If they don't sell, well, ten people have got a very, have got a unique product. This weighs about 200, and, I put it on the scale, so it weighs about 215 grams. So I can knock that in half with titanium. It'll be uh, 100 grams. It'll be super shiny. It won't look as shiny as stainless steel, I, I don't think, but it, it'll look really good. It'll stand out on your bike so anyway if you're interested get in touch and um, have a look at all the new products that seem to be made for all the different modern classic bikes and remember this one's for the NSR 250 um, it'll fit all the models in the 90s I don't know if it'll fit the the 125 version it might fit other bikes I just don't know Anyway, cheers now. Bye.